One of the keys to the new evangelization is recognizing the needs of our current time and our current society and bringing the timeless truths of the gospel to those needs. Leonard is uniquely skilled at identifying where are the areas that people need Christ's message now, what are the problems that are going on in our society, and what are the truths that we can bring to address those problems and to help people, and that really is the new evangelization at work. I can't think of anyone who has lived his faith more powerfully than Leonard Leo. He does it quietly and unassumingly, but with inhuman energy. In my experience, you do not have to persuade Leonard of the importance of the gospel. We're in a circumstance where a lot of people who traditionally have practiced the faith are now falling away. I think he would see all of those things as presenting a tremendous need for our country. I think that's one of the reasons why his involvement with the Catholic Information Center is such a great partnership because this is also the mission of the Catholic Information Center to do this in the heart of the nation's capital, just down the street from the White House, a very rich environment where you have a lot of very intelligent people who are looking for something more in their lives. And they find it at the Catholic Information Center. That's one of the things about Leonard is that he, he's living the faith where he is. He's really incorporated that into his life and into his, his professional life, and he sees that as informing what he does. One of my first encounters with Leonard was uh, when he came to my parish and gave a talk to our young adults. He brought Margaret Mary with him, who was severely handicapped and, and not long after that died of spina bifida. His care for her, his tenderness towards her, and his insistence that she's just going to live a normal life. That spilled over to her character, and she was full of character and, and a very strong young woman. That was a great, uh, if not first impression, one of the first impressions uh, of Leonard. And it spoke to his, um, uh, his care for those who are in need and his realization that, that the faith is the means by which we best help those who are in need. It's particularly fitting that the very year in which Dobbs was decided we are honoring Leonard Leo because no one has done more to advance traditional values and especially the right to life than Leonard. For all of the influence that he has is someone who is so striking because he really cares about the individuals that he works with. Leonard has such a wonderful, deep and comfortable faith. Leonard carries his faith with them. And I think that's the best thing you can want in someone.